This recipe for chicken pot pie is an absolutely delicious, quick and easy midweek dinner. And it's packed full of flavor and it's really hearty and delicious. So first thing I'm gonna do is heat my oil. Good drizzle of that. And into that then I'm gonna put in some butter. Now I'm gonna start off putting in my onion. A couple of carrots, just peeled and just diced. And then some celery, love celery in this. Now a couple of cloves of garlic, so just peel them. And using my garlic crusher, I'm just gonna rock it over and back. Now so scrape in the two cloves of garlic and then we're pick thyme, so thyme is delicious in this. And then we're gonna add in some bacon, so I'm using the Simply Better bacon lardons. I'm just gonna let that just cook out there. The lovely smells already from the thyme, the bacon, and of course the garlic. Now the next thing I'm gonna add is, is my chicken. So these are Simply Better corn-fed chicken breasts. So let that cook for a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna add in our gravy. So the poultry gravy I'm using. Then our basil pesto, so this is the fresh basil pesto. I'm gonna put in a couple of spoonfuls of that and then our cream. So I'm using the Simply Better Jersey cream for this. And this needs to come back to the boil, and then we're gonna add in our peas. These are frozen peas I'm using. That needs to simmer for a few minutes until it's slightly thickened. So that's it ready, it's slightly thickened. Now at this stage, what you can do is serve it with some cooked pasta or a little bit of rice, or potato, it's delicious. But what we're gonna do is turn it into a lovely pie. So really important, before you put the puff pastry on, is just to make sure that this is cooled completely. So I'm gonna leave that for a good 25, 30 minutes until it's cooled down. Now for the pastry, a little bit of flour on the board, and I'm using this little better all butter pastry. So just using a rolling pin, just roll it out. Push that right down. Egg wash, so I'm using some of the Simply Better corn-fed eggs. One egg, a little bit of milk. You brush this all over it. Now, so that's it ready to go into the oven. So the oven's preheated at 200 degrees, and that's gonna go in for 25 to 30 minutes until the puff pastry is beautiful, golden brown. <laughs>